Here we have a Zeus M50B. We're going to open it up and explore the insides. This laptop is extremely old. It's five, six, seven years old from today's date of the filming day. And it's starting to overheat, so we need to open up and clean the insides. So after cleaning the insides, um, the results are a lot better. It stops shutting down automatically and it runs a lot cooler. So now we flip to the back. We're going to start off with the back. Remember to remove your battery. So we're going to remove our hard drive. There's two screws holding the hard drive cover down. Then you just lift up the cover, it comes off. The hard drive cage is held down by two screws as well. So there's a black tab, you're supposed to hold the black tab and pull it back. But since this laptop is old, it's basically like glued. So you're going to see I'm going to have to use a screwdriver to pry it out but if your laptop is not so old it shouldn't be that hard to remove and there you go, it comes out we're going to remove two screws to remove the DVD drive And here's the second screw. And you just pull it out and it comes out. Now you need to remove these five screws to remove the cover, which I already have removed, which expose everything that you need. So to remove the RAM, push two sides up, out, and the RAM pops up. So the fan, CPU and the graphic card. So remove the fan cable, power cable. Then you're gonna need to remove four screws on the CPU and then two screws on the chipset to remove the heatsink. These screws come off. Generally CPU screws don't actually come off, but this is an old laptop. Back then they probably made it came off. So this laptop was struggling from heat issues and would automatically shut down and get really hot just sitting there doing nothing. This is why we need to replace the thermal paste and clean out the fan. Now we need to remove the graphic card heatsink as well, as the CPU heatsink and the graphic card heatsink are sort of connected. To remove them, removing both of them at once is easier than removing one at a time. There's two screws holding the graphic card heatsink down, and to remove the heatsink, you just tilt it up and it comes out. Same with the graphic card heatsink, just lift it up and it comes out. The graphic card heatsink, you have to wobble a bit for it to come out. Same when you put it back in. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Like I said previously, this laptop suffered from heat issues, and this is why we had to open this laptop up. After cleaning out and replacing the thermal paste, the laptop was like normal again and worked as it should. So if you have heat issues, this generally resolves your issue. And thanks for watching.